Maple Leaf title because Zach, Zach Starr and Norm Daly both have said forward, we want to move forward in our careers. And they're going to be on the forward brand competing for the Junior Weight Championship. We are in Rebellion, North American Elite Wrestling, everybody. And these British fans strong, standing on their feet, getting ready for this Divas Championship match. These Rebellion, these, these, these North American fans, I mean, I mean, England fans of North American Elite Wrestling are about to see the Pasta Alexander Marie make her entrance, the former contest. Divas Champion Alexander Marie. They are so blessed, they believe. As you can hear the fans here out loud, they are screaming. From Baltimore, Maryland. Pop star Alexandria Alexia Marie, the very first ever Divas Marie. Champion. And these and these fans here seem to love Alexandria Marie here in London. Here in Liverpool. Alexandria Marie looking to reclaim what she believes is rightfully hers. The Divas Championship. Alexandria Marie. Pop star Alexandria Marie is these. As these Britain fans seem to be behind Alexandra Marie, the pop star, only one of these eight ladies can walk away with the Divas Championship. I'm glad to say that we are going to be moving forward with this forward brand, everybody. The junior superstars who are under 220 ills who believe that they aren't making the cut here in North American League Wrestling can go into this new forward brand hope they can move their career forward. As here we go, another lady about to make her entrance. From Texas. Now Nelson, a lady who has the picked up a bunch of momentum Sarah. lately. Sarah. Janelle Marie. Nelson. The Southern Belle, Janelle Nelson. This lady, that very well could be your next Divas champion. Only one fall to a finish. This is a very deadly, deadly match. I've done the math. You only have a 12 of winning this match. If you are the Divas champion, Rachel Cross, that is, lose the Divas championship here tonight. And that also gives every single opportunity. And we have a 100% chance of, of crowning a new junior weight champion here tonight after this match. Now, ladder match. All eight superstars are going to go wrestle up there. Johnny D, also part of the forward brand, looking, looking to carry on with the Brutality Championship as the athleticism of Chanel Nelson right now. Holy. Riding those ropes like she would ride a coat, like a horse or a bull. The Southern Belle Chanel Nelson. And look at us in Britain. I can uh, look at this huge crowd here. All these ladies here wanting to fly to England to make this match possible. The challenge for the Divas Championship to possibly be on top of the Divas division here tonight. Just like these fans and me, we're all waiting to see our the next entrances here on the NAW Rebellion kickoff. I, Jay and Jackpot, thank you all for being here. North As I believe we're about to get the former... An AW Divas champion, yes. From Helsinki, Finland. The, the Crusade member, Cheryl Nicholson, is making Nicholas. her way down the ring, the very former Divas champion. A lady who is also looking to become a two time Divas champion here tonight. One member of the Crusade looking for gold. One of three, one of three Crusade members all challenging for championship gold here tonight. That is what they can challenge for gold. They are that top. I should say silver, because it's all silver in North America League. But that, they are all top of the line talent. Crusade collectively, a great group. You can very well be looking at the very next Divas champion. As you can see, the crowd is packed here in England, London. London, England, I should say. Rebellion kickoff here. Telephone, tell a friend, tell a wrestler. If you have followers, I please urge you to host the stream. Let's get eyes on the North American League product. Let's show them how great this brand can really be and how great of a roster we have. As Don Marie making her huh, way down the ring, a lady who has also picked up some Marie. momentum recently. Don Don Marie challenged recently has recently has personally picked out Alexandria Marie. We have seen her said that she has a problem with this lady. Not because of the last name being the same, and not because of anything in family, because they are not related. But the way she acts, believing that she believes that she's inclined to everything, believing that she's on top of the list, he was the vision is wrong.
Everybody believes that she, with hard work and, and with a little bit of luck here tonight, that she could be the Divas Champion. Tom Marie is fully capable of that. Any, uh, any one of these eight ladies who walk away with the Divas Championship here tonight. That is the exciting thing about this Invitational. I have to say the executive had a great idea here tonight. Gonna let all these ladies fly over here, North America Elite Wrestling. Get over to England. Represent the brand that they love so proud, North American Elite. Brand that you all love watching here in the chat. And you haven't missed anything yet, everybody. This is the very first match of the kickoff event, kickoff edition. If you missed the advanced wrestling stream, you just have a steel cage match. I should, I urge you all, call him as Denise Parkinson. Denise. In the ring. Denise Parkinson finally picking up a little bit of momentum herself. Here going into this match, Denise Parkinson. Her, her boyfriend, Nick Gemini, and Sean Dynasty challenge you for the United States Tag Team title. Jeremy Mendez is still a million dollar model. Denise Parkinson, ladies challenging Rachel Cross here today. Denise Parkinson looking good, better than ever. Nick Gemini's girlfriend, Nick Gemini is one lucky girl, and one lucky man, I must say. Denise Parkinson looking to win her very first Divas Championship here tonight. Lady who interested enough changed her name from Julie Hodge to Denise Parkinson. Able to finally legally change her name after a long battle with paperwork and everything. Good for Denise Parkinson, I believe. This is that name proudly now, Denise Parkinson. From Jerry Rare Rebellion, Terry Lee making her way down the ring. Terry Lee, if you watch the ITF, you will know suddenly this Terry Lee. You've seen her at the holiday Christmas show. Terry Lee makes it. Looking to become the Divas Champion here tonight is Terry Lee, everybody. Karina, as ever as the fans don't seem to be the hockey, they never seem to be. Apparently, though, a great Divas challenger, I must say. Here, and it's got to be very hard to get these London fans to boo you, but they are booing Karina here tonight. On their feet, though, here in London, I must say, I'm proud to be here. I believe we only got two ladies left to make their entrances. As we await. A hold up, what's going on in the back here? Apparently, in the ring, waiting his music hits. And Lilith, I believe they're, I believe I was told that Lilith and Rachel Cross were trying to make their entrance together, Laura. and they're not being allowed to. They were told that the Rebellion fans want to see everyone make their entrances just like they normally would at a singles match. Lilith, one member of the Vengeful Vixens, along with the Divas champion Rachel Cross. Will Lilith help Rachel Cross possibly defend the Divas Championship here tonight? Or is Lilith looking to become her very first ever Divas Champion? First ever Divas title here tonight. All these ladies proud representing the forward brand, I must say. Rebellion, we're in a great looking arena here. Production team always doing better than ever here in North American Elite Wrestling. We're here in North American Elite Warehouse of the Divas Division, Lilith. Rachel Cross has one hell of an ally here in Lilith. And look at the muscles on Lilith. She's not a to let you see those guns and let you know that she is built. Lilith, as I thank you all for being here on the kickoff event. A Divas Championship match about to take place. Don't forget, telephone, tell a friend, tell your mama, tell a wrestler about this match, somebody. Tell you. If you weren't here for the battle in Britain for a send, which, which I'm not going to hit on a send, but don't forget, we got some remnants here. I believe that Rebellion was announced first, let's not forget. Look at how big everyone here. We packed this, we packed this arena here. As the Divas champion, Rachel Cross, Red Hood Rachel Cross, makes her way From down Hollywood, the ring. California. She is Little the Red Hood Evan. Rachel Cross, she Marie. calls herself. This lady does inspire on the story, the fairy tale story. Little Red Riding Hood, Red Hood Rachel Cross, the Divas champion. Some would say one of the most unlikely is the Divas champion of all the talent here in the Divas division. But how can you say that when that lady has the title around her shoulder? The Divas champion is not a fluke, I believe. As Lilith, you see, has her back. Six other ladies, all on one side, Lilith. And Red Hood Rachel Cross, the Divas champion. This should be interesting here. 
the Divas Champion, Rachel Cross. Seven challengers. 87.5% chance of losing that title right here, right now. In London. The very first ever North American Elite Wrestling match that's about to take place on the state. And the bell has rung. And don't forget everybody, with 2K20 and an eight-man match, we're gonna see a little bit of a match. That is not just straight fourth ball right here, but that's American Elite Wrestling. We are wrong. We are live. We are one fall to a finish for the Divas Champion tip. And you expect me to call any I'll try my best. Eight ladies. All these ladies are the four-word prank as part of moving forward in North American Elite Wrestling. And I want to see the predictions. I got my, I'm with the chat right now, I'm in the chat. I'd like to talk with you, you better interact. But I want to see your predictions on who you guys are doing thing. He's going to win the Divas Championship right now. As I pay attention also to this match. Divas Champion, Major Cross with Don Marie. Ace Parkinson and Alexandra Marie locking up. That would leave Cheryl Nicholson and Tara Lee on the outside along with Slow Al Nelson, the Southern Bell. Oh my god, right, this is rebellion, everybody. And Lilith is no, oh, Lilith just tossed Chanel Nelson behind that steel step. You see a T-bone by Don Marie under the Divas Champion, a snake suplex. And a kick to the midsection of Tara Lee by Cheryl Nicholson. Cheryl Nicholson, the Crusade member, ruthless like all of them. Every member of the Crusade, Crusade more ruthless than the last one you named. No matter how you ever named a list, it just seems to be that way. Three of these ladies, former Divas champions. If a new Divas champion is crowned, that means four ladies in this match have matched to have been Divas champion by the time it's over. Tara Lee with the cover. Only got one on Cheryl Nicholson. The ball must be inside the ring of Tara Lee, Lilith, and Cheryl Nicholson. The only three ladies right now with a chance of winning this match technically. Four are by Lilith. And man, can you imagine if the action's going to be like this? Man, ladder match right after this. You got some chaotic matches just like a Triple H show with all the chaos coming at you right away. Everybody trying to excite. Everybody giving it off to their London fans. All eight of these Divas looking to become the Divas champion or retain a title. If you're in the case of Rachel Cross, well, I don't know if she's trying to help Rachel Cross. You haven't seen these ladies locked up yet. I don't know if you are in this match. They could maybe go on every lady for themselves, not against each other. We don't know what these two ladies talk about. We know that they're trying to make their entrance with each other, and they were told by management right in front of me that no, that's not gonna happen. As we got some lag jokes in the chat, I love it everybody. This is what North American League Wrestling is about. We're raw, we are live, we are here to interact, we are here as a community. We're here as a roster to make jokes, here have fun. That's what we are here for. Twitch.tv slash one. here for a place, just like the name said, fun, funny. My name is Dan, Danny Jackpot. Divas Championship is on the line, North American League Wrestling, everybody. Oh, and Don Marie to the steel, steel steps by it. Chanel Nelson, I, I don't know if there's this qualifications or not. Kicked by Tara Lee on the Rachel Cross. And man, if he didn't fit anyone in this match between the Divas Champion, that would be one hell of a, one hell of a little feather in the cap of the Divas title. Shining Wizard, and that is the shiniest of wizards. The shiniest of wizards delivered by Cheryl Nielsen right there. Backbreaker by Denise Parkinson. Cheryl Nicholson and Lilith know each other very well, have been in Divas Championship matches on multiple occasions. Rebellion here live. And Denise Parkinson would hell a job to get out Daniel Marie. And going for a suplex to Cheryl Nicholson on Lilith. She nails it. The three ladies in the ring right now. Cheryl Nicholson going for a cover on Lilith. You got Denise Parkinson right there. Probably should have to break it up. Lilith, the powerhouse of the Divas Division, able to break that up. Break that cover up and only one. Stick out, I should say, power up. We are live here at Rebellion. I thank you all for being here. Divas to the line. Cheryl Nicholson going for the Gory Special. 
and Denise Markerson breaks it up. Don't forget, submission in this match would be just as good. First ball to a finish in this Divas Invitational 8-pack challenge. As the action slows down a little bit here on the Divas, in the Divas Championship match. All the ladies on the outside, the three ladies in the ring right now, John Marie, Mel Nelson, and Lilith. Now Nelson, I mean Lilith is slammed down by Don Marie. All five other ladies on the outside of the ring. And if this was a fantasy of mine, I would be living in it right now. But this is the Divas Championship match, everybody. And Lilith is down. Don Marie with the cover on Lilith. And oh, and Irish whip by Alexander Marie breaks up the cover. And oh, Don Marie with a clothesline on the back of Alexander Marie. And headstand by Rachel Cross and the outside of the ring kicks Tara Lee impressively. All the ladies are file back in the ring for this matchup. Don't forget that's where you have to get your fall. It's inside the ring. The Phoenix Championship is going to be won. You're going to win the title in the ring. You can't win it on the end. You're going to press, but you cannot win the title right now. Neither can Janelle Nelson. And Cheryl Nicholson haunting. So now Nelson, when she throws over the top rope right there, the Southern Bell falls to the outside now. Ironman's Terry by Carolina Rachel Cross. Dawnbreaker by Lilith on the Don Green. I thank you all for being here for the Divas Championship match. I like to hear predictions. I like to hear what's going on. Rachel Cross tossed over the top rope. It's first ball to a finish. I know we're top rope, Val Royal. That is how Cheryl Nicholson actually won her championship with the four man over to four lady over the top row battle royal. Obviously it wasn't four men competing for the Divas Championship. I believe Lester Barkley though has has hit the fight for that title. I hope to God that does not happen. Cheryl Nicholson the cover! Oh and what a crucifix by Don Marie and a little to break that cover up, only getting two. All these ladies gotta be getting tired in this match. Only one of these ladies can walk away the Divas champion. Don Marie, I've seen her move before, a put away opponent. Don Marie hits the look with it. Don Marie pulls her away from the ropes. Carol Nicholson with a huge centers kick on the series part in the corner there. It's in the back of the head. Don Marie will get up though. All these ladies fighting, Tara Lee with a cover. They try to sneak a cover and Tara Lee, two, one. Oh, and Alexander Marie kicks out. Rewind power driver by Lillet, drives her down to the mat, Lillet. That's really slowing down this game. One, two, Lillet Bowen becomes the Divas Champion. She always pins Don Marie only gets two. Only one of these ladies, one fall, two off fans. She was going to win this match. Corey special by Cheryl Nicholson. And do a Corey bomb on the street. Alexander Marie, the cover on Carol Lee, one. Maria Maria. Two people, two ladies who some say wrestle very similarly, but do not have enough to have completely different personalities to the two. Timing down, Don Marita's Lilith. Ladies are starting to pile up on the mat here. Four ladies in Rembrandt right now. And what's Lilith going for here? Don Marie's down. Lilith going for a moonsault out of nowhere. I would have never guessed that lot. No, no, a moonsault. And reverse DDT like it. Lilith seems to have Don Marie right where she wants her, she believes. Cheryl Lee rolls out of the ring going after Cheryl. Lilith. Lilith. Oh my God, what a right hand. Are you kidding me? Lilith with the right hand, the powerhouse right 
I cannot blow it. All oh, these demons in shock. They can't believe it. Catch the cover. I can't believe it. Lilith has just been crowned. Look at the double knees by Carolee and Alexander Marie. That could have been it. The rewind pile driver by Lilith. The right hand of Dominique, a, a moonsault, w and new winner, Lord. and the new Divas Champion here on the road. I think I gotta grab something to drink for this awesome match and this awesome stream that's about to take place. I hope that we can actually get this match to go this time. I'm thinking not being in the universe mode might help us a little bit. And who do you believe out of these eight individuals is going to walk away your very first ever junior weight champion North American League Wrestling? Who's going to go in that four division? And we're going to have this match load. So that's exciting right away. I won't lie, that is, I can't believe that 1980s film Grim is on. <laughs> Look at how, I haven't done a 1980s match yet. So here we go, we got 8-man ladders match, the Junior Weight Championship, and as we move forward, we dedicate a little bit to the past right now. The as Bonkers making his way down the ring right now. Match. No longer with Shane Corson and Bonkers. No longer on a leash. And it's very scary. A man who is labeled with le legally labeled with schizophrenia. A man who used to be a, 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 a used to be a, a clown. He still is a clown. Graduated clown college and everything with schizophrenia. Used to actually perform at kids' birthday parties. Kids started complaining. Kids started crying. Kids started disappearing. He's a scary man. Hawker just wants you to play. As Bonkers, one of eight men looking to become the very first ever junior weight champion here in North American League Wrestling. As we move forward, we're moving backwards. Bonkers is indeed Bonkers. Bonkers, one of eight individuals tonight challenging for the Junior Weight Championship. Now, I Bonkers said the voices in his head had told him to go to the forward brand. Uh, move forward. That's how he worded it. Move forward. Uh, he's a weird guy. I don't, I don't understand Bonkers, and I don't want to go to Bonkers. If I try to understand bonkers, I'd probably go bonkers. As here comes a man from Kent, who is making Washington. his North Lane American League Wrestling official contract, Dan Daniel Morgan. Morgan. Daniel Morgan, a three-time ITF heavyweight champion, a one-time ITF tag team champion, is Daniel Morgan. A chance to really move forward in his career on the forward brand. Daniel Morgan had called up more than American League Wrestling and said that he could make the weight cut. He says that at 215 and being a former boxer, he'll have no problem maintaining his weight for forward. The executive gives, gives opportunities every now and then. And Daniel Morgan, a man with a great opportunity here tonight. A man now with a great opportunity to move forward in his career is Daniel Morgan, everybody. As we're in Les, we are in Liverpool, London, England, everyone. Up here, the Junior Weight Championship, a ladder, Junior Weight title hanging high above all eight of these men. Very first man to climb a ladder to retrieve the Junior Weight Championship. 
is going to be the very first ever junior weight champion is going to have Brian Wright forever. And here he comes right now, the WEDM superstar, the call legend, the call and veteran, Zach Starr, the lineman, the Zach Starr. 210 pounds, Zach Steele. Zach Starr says that he alone will carry the junior weight championship, the junior weight division forward into the future. He will make the junior weight, he know that the talking about brand, and Zach Starr says, why wait? That's why he gave up his All-American title opportunity to be in this ladder match, here, ladder match here tonight. A man with multiple ladder match experience victories in his man and his, and his, and his arsenal is Zach Starr. Zach Starr definitely going to be a favorite here to win the Junior Weight Championship for the very first ever time. My cousin Zach Starr. And there he is as the fans here in England, booing Zack Starr. Happy to see him, but booing the cocky Aaron Adams, Zack Starr. And I love it. At VHS Quality, as we move forward, we have to, one last time, pay a little appreciation to the past. Before we move forward, the Junior Weight Championship, as we move forward a little bit of the past, a little bit of the forward, as we are in the present. As here comes New one Jersey. member of the crusade, Norm Daly, Cheryl Nicholson, wasn't able to accomplish gold on her chance. As the fans Nilsa. here in England are loud on their feet for Norm the Storm Daly. Another welcoming here for the crusade. A warm welcoming for the crusade. Joe Omega. England's own Joe Omega is going to make a bet here for the NAW Championship. If it wasn't for Joe, and most of these North, Amer North England, or these England fans didn't believe that North American League wrestling would be here. Here in England, and I had the chance because of Joe, because of the Crusade, Norm Daly, a former United States Tag Team Champion in his own right, is Norm Daly. The same thing can be said about Zach Starr, a former Canadian Tag Team Champion in his own right. These two men looking to capture the very first ever singles gold North American League Wrestling, looking to become the very first ever North American League Wrestling Junior Weight Champion. Tell phone, tell a friend, tell a wrestler, tell your mama, tell somebody about this great North American League wrestling action that you're about to take place. And don't forget, we're not going to have no Isaiah Ice. We're not going to enter the Ice Age. We're not going to have Sub-Zero freezing on us. We're going to have this match take place. Isaiah Ice is in it, though. So we are going to be entering the and Ice Age here soon. From As down the ring. Pounds, Jason James. And Jason James, one of eight men. Jason James has never won a singles championship in his entire car career on a main stage the former ITF television champion during the developmental league. Jason James. Could it be Jason James Knight? Jason James, a proud member of the fraternity. Yeah, Only one of these eight men will be able to, to, name, to name their stake. We know the very first ever junior weight champion and to hold that silver, a junior weight championship silver. To be able to be on top of the male division here in the forward brand. And Jason James is fired up, everybody. Don't forget, we're going to have a new champion crowned 100% guaranteed. All men, all, like I said, all these men have a 12.5% chance of winning this match. But 100% chance guaranteed of being a new champion. Of the very first ever junior weight champion, the forward brand. Boom, forward. The pink and yellow brand. Jason James in the ring. As here we go. I'm a, a man who had debuted. Where if you were just watching the advanced wrestling stream, 
being hosted on his channel. One of North American League Wrestling's from sister leagues, brother leagues. El Salvador, Here comes El Lightning Jr. At 200 pounds. A man looking Lester. to win his very first case of CAW gold on a main stage. El Lightning Jr. is a very, is a former brutality champion. The junior, but, but I guess I could say that it was his very first taste of gold. But looking at his very first taste of non-hardcore gold, he said, not extreme. More of a chance to show off your skills, not not show, show off the fans here on TV. The Brutality Championship, a man the a match we're going to see three other superstars from Keith against Johnny D later tonight. Valiant, Liverpool, England, United Kingdom. The Junior Weight Championship hanging high above everyone's head. Fans on their feet. Now Lightning Jr. in the ring. I believe we're about to enter the Ice Age, everybody. Here we go, we're about to enter the Ice Age! As here comes Isaiah Ice himself! A man who is also a former brutality champion, Isaiah and Ice! From the North Pole, weighing in at 215 pounds. And he the says that forward is about to real cold, because it's about to enter the Ice Age! Isaiah Ice, everybody! Fans are behind Isaiah Ice. The man, the athleticism, Isaiah Ice. Impressive. Isaiah Ice. You can never take your eyes off the man who says he'll make you win on the Ice Age. As you can see right there, the Junior Weight Championship. High and high above Isaiah Ice's head. This match about to get underway. As, as we about to have one more entrance, Marcus Matrix. The final entrance in this match, and don't forget, when you see Marcus Matrix, he is not wearing a brutality championship around his waist. Ten, you don't see that. That is a mirage. That is a mirage, everybody. He does not have the title. That title belongs to Johnny D. He stole it. He. That is a fashion championship. He made it himself. Marcus Matrix, everyone. As he has the same theme as Isaiah Ice, I guess. And. Don't oh, forget, Marcus Matrix is just stealing everybody's stuff here tonight. He's stealing Johnny. He is not the brutality Super champion. He is not the, he is not the brutality champion. Marcus Matrix is not the brutality Man. champion. We're just going to skip his entrance because he's not the brutality champion. He's stealing themes. But he is in this match. This match is underway. Eight man ladder match right now. Junior Weight Championship is on the line. Zach Spar, a nice, safe, obvious choice, someone say in this match. Zach Spar went after all that and Oh my god, what a leg drop. Daniel Moyer talking to the umpire of the ring. Bonkers looking bonkers, more crazier than ever is bonkers. Isaiah Ice, Marcus Majors locking up, arguing over the theme song. Daniel Moyer and the former monster, Zach Spar back in the ring. Peter Wayne Championship on the line. Rebellion, it might be a two day event. I'm hoping that after you're done with these two matches, the show goes a little bit longer. Both entrances in these eight man matches take a long time. As Isaiah Ice just defied gravity. I don't know if you didn't see that, but if we're not in the ice stage, we're at least defying the Marcus Matrix. Oh, stop it! On oh my god, Junior Weight Championship on the line. I didn't think I'd say that. The fans had voted. The fans had probably wanted to see this. The fans did not, the fans didn't know as much as they wanted to see this. So trust me. Cold results were as fair as they should have been for this junior weight championship. <laughs> as we have all eight of these men fighting each other here. As some think Ice is going to win, some think Zack Star is going to win. Norma Storm Daily would be another good favorite to win. Don't forget, Daniel Morgan's a three time ITF champion. Now, Lightning Jr., Isaiah Ice, four brutality champions. Jason James, Marcus Matrix, or Marcus Matrix also a former brutality champion. Jason James is Jason James. That man, don't forget, we all see him. He, Jason James, for the extreme, the headbutt that made us last month, don't forget. In the EDO Heavyweight Championship.
Championship Tournament. Idiot plug. And don't forget, I believe there might be some heat between Joe and Norm. Norm wanted two members of the Crusade. I mean, Joe wanted two members of the Crusade, and y'all met at the Big League title match tonight. I don't know what been. I, I believe he thought that it, it'd be better if he go but with a guaranteed shot of uh, two titles, maybe they would think. Say we're gonna gather in that match. I don't know what the plan was there. I guess they just the ladder started it up. Junior Weight Championship. That nice prestigious yellow title you see. Hanging how Junior Weight Silver Gold. And Bonkers and Isaiah Ice, the only two men in this match right now in the ring. Bonkers. Here's voices in their head, in his head, and they say to grab that ladder. And he's not like Randy Orton. He just hears voices. He's just in front of him. It's nothing to laugh about mental illness. And we advise you all that if you are not happy, if you're sad, you're depressed, then go and go see seek help. There is people that are there to help you. There's there is people there are people that care. Marcus Matrix climbing the ladder. Marcus Matrix is the junior weight championship. The very first man with his title. Put his hands on the hands on the silver. I'll let any junior know put them off. Lightning Jr. now, for our Marcus Matrix hangs on, oh no he doesn't that time, Marcus Matrix goes crashing down to the pack. A Lightning Jr. now with his, with his hand, his grubby mitt on the Silverweight Championship. And packet, oh my god, Al Lightning's hanging, Al Lightning's hanging everybody, someone grab Al Lightning, he, he's hanging, Al Lightning's hanging, oh my god, Al Lightning doesn't know what to do. He doesn't know what to do, he cannot drop that title belt. Now he goes crashing down, oh my god. Now Lightning Jr. tried to unstrap that title. He tried to unstrap the title and he goes, he went crashing down. And if you're wondering, if you're wondering that folks at home, why did he just grab the title belt? Well, you see what happened, why he didn't just grab it. He tried and he went crashing down. Jason James face first down the mat. Daniel Morgan, the very first ever AAW match under contract. on the ladder by Norman Storm Gilly on the bunkers. Jason James leg sweeping Daniel Morgan the boxer. Jason James the veteran in call. Let's not forget with over 10 years experience, Jason James has competed in over three different decades. And has competed in three different decades in CAW. Like it or not, Jason James has that much experience. The only man in this match that can say that other than Zack Starr. Don't forget, if you look at the roster right now, you guys, you got guys like Norm the Storm Daily, Daniel Morgan, Marcus Matrix, all in the great offline league, CBW, here, eight years later, still competing at the top of their game here in North American Elite. CBW has reminded us that some of the greatest talent here in CAW, we have to think CBJ, offline, one of the greatest leagues of all time, performing CAW talent. Eight man ladder match, still on their way, junior weight championship on the line. Jason James looks like a million dollars against one of the stars. Back stars, someone say the safe bet. To win this match, the former WDF Cruiserweight Champion, Zack Star. Jason James, though. Jason James. He was fired up, but I noticed Jason James specializes in great kicks. Jason James, everybody. Has Zack Star really? Hey, Marcus Matrix. Up to his feet, Daniel Morgan trying to use his boxing background, but no, Matrix plays them out with the brain buster. Marcus Matrix now, climbing the ladder of success. Marcus Matrix, a man we've seen win multiple matches in his career lately. The momentum is behind Marcus Matrix, possibly. I see a ice though. Some of the money just gave Colin on Marcus Matrix and on the ladder. Now let him know. Now let him stick over the ladder. Ronda's farm. Oh, Ronda's farm tricked him with both of them. Ronda's farm now has the junior weight silver on his hand. Oh, Zach's going after Ronda's farm. 
on the Storm Daily. Still trying on, brace that title with Dax Star attacking his back. I see the ice in Norm now. Oh my god, there's a boy in the ladder. Well, that will stop you. Smash now. All these men back at the drawing board. The starting point of this race you can stay. The Peterweight Championship. Daniel Morgan with a kick to the face of ice was impressive. And as you can see, the fans are behind Jason James too. They want Jason James to finally have his night. The night would be if Jason James wins this match tonight would be his crowning a moment in his career. Jason James could it be his night in full England as we got fucking on fucking center here. Jason fucking James, everybody. Men in the ring, L. Lightning Jr., Zack Starr, Tom Daly is knocked out of the ring. As 2003 is in the ring, L. Lightning Jr., we got it. We are on fucking center here in Liverpool, England, everybody. L. Lightning Jr. with a forearm catches, catches Zack Starr out of nowhere. L. Lightning Jr. has the ladder. Ice came back in the ring, though. Ice climbing the ladder to success. Ice looking to become the very first ever junior weight champion. Oh, already won the very first, already won the TV championship for the first time in his career. Earlier, Dax Star going after Isaiah Ice, Isaiah Ice has the title belt. No, L. Lightning Jr. Forms the face. Ice can't grab the belt. Ice is hurt. Ice is down. Ice fans not caught by Dax Star. L. Lightning Jr. has the title belt. L. Lightning Jr. A man you just see on a fan spot is going after L. Lightning Jr. The kickoff here of Rebel just as great as ever. L. Lightning Jr., how is he not? With all these men at the L. Lightning Jr., maybe Matrix seeing that ladder, L. Lightning Jr. cannot get it. That championship belt down. I've never seen a man fight so hard to get a belt down. Jr. can't grab it. Arm Daly pulls him down by the leg. Arm Daly. Oh my god! L. Lightning Jr. goes flying down to the map. On the storm, big kick to Daniel Morgan. Don't forget, I thank everyone for being here. Tell a phone, tell a friend, tell a wrestler, tell somebody about this great North American Elite Wrestling action taking place right here, right now. Isaiah Ice toss over the top rope. Jason James and Norm Daly, the only two men in this ring. Don't forget, after this, there's going to be an intermission between the kickoff and the main show. As I have discussion with the fans, from the Storm Daly, Zack Star stops, but Isaiah Ice climbing the ladder. All these men, only one ladder. New New Age Championship. Find a ladder for success. It's been said. It's been not just, it doesn't mean physically, it doesn't mean mentally, it means literally tonight. It's not a figurative speech. It's a literal speech. Oh my God! Jason James, Marcus Major tosses Jason James in the ladder. Everybody goes flying on the. This match is a brawl for the Junior Weight Championship. Oh my God! Falling the fast driver, fight bonkers on the next star. Let's do a ladder. Oh my God! match still continues. Oh my god, he's been fighting. Bonkers drives Isaiah Ice down with a spine buster. Thickly looks over the, the, the corpse of Isaiah Ice. It's busted spine almost. Daniel Morgan on top of the ladder climbing. Could Daniel Morgan win in his North American League Wrestling debut? The Junior Weight Championship. A three-time ITF champion. Tony Bonkers reaches the top of the ladder, drives his face into it. Morgan, though, will not be denied. Morgan, my thought, bonkers, bonkers, hangs on the ladder. Marcus Major's and Lenny fighting. Fans familiar with each other. 
Daniel Morgan tosses bonkers off the ladder. Will not be denied. Will the night be Daniel Morgan tonight? Daniel Morgan on the stun there. On the storm. Daniel Morgan. Ladder. Pushed away. Daniel Morgan now hanging in a bad spot. Daniel Morgan. He's saying that he's Down. 
He goes to Bob into the corner and starts laying and stops. That's up the ladder though. But Dex starts. Daniel Morgan now back in the ring. Daniel Morgan was at the star. Bonkers was to climb the ladder, but Daniel Morgan stops him. Four to the back by Daniel Morgan. Bonkers is crashing into the ladder. The kickoff here of Rebellion. As yes, the action is slow with these eight fans in this 2K20 game. So I will break the fourth wall once again. Daniel Morgan. With the boxing background boy after idea ice junior weight championship on the line. But with Ari Crone, the new Divas champion here on the kickoff. Congratulations, Lilith, once again once again. Guaranteed a new junior weight champion right here in this match. One of these eight men will be on top of the junior weight division, on top of the forward brand. Along with Lilith right now after this show, will be the host, Zack Star. Oh my God, Zack Suplex on the ring apron. Daniel Morgan's got to be feeling that one. Daniel Morgan in the morning. There's all eight of these men are going to be feeling this match. Now Lightning Jr., Marcus Major, Zack Star, the only team in this match right now in the ring. Daniel Morgan now getting in the ring also. The England fans are getting rowdy here. As all eight men now back in the ring. One of these men, Daniel tossed the Zack Star halfway through a suplex. Just drops him, doesn't give a crap how he lands Zack Star. The disrespect of Morgan showing the star right there. These two men are starting to form some kind of rivalry, I swear, in this matchup. Daniel Morgan, Zack Star. Zack Star with a huge super kick to Daniel Morgan. Jason James with ladder and toe. Jason James swings in the ice. Jason James sets up the ladder. Now Lightning Jr. knocks the ladder over and then hits Marcus Major with a huge knee. Max Star picks the ladder back up. Max Star, brain buster by Jason James and a Daniel Morgan with high velocity right there, high impact. Jason James, but the night could be Jason James night. Left and right could be bonkers night. I think many would say that Jason James would have a better chance of having his night tonight than bonkers. So what if the night was bonkers night? Bonkers and Jason James are the only two men in this ring right now though. Marcus Major tossed back in the ring by all lightning. Bonkers, boy after Jason James. Out of all the ring. All these men came back. L. Lightning Jr., the first man to climb the ladder. L. Lightning Jr., Norma Storm Daily going after L. Lightning Jr. Does not let L. Lightning Jr. get his hands on that title belt. You gotta believe the next man with his hands on that championship gold could very well be the very, the, the, the very first junior weight champion. And Jason James is getting fired up. Isaiah Ice duplex into a do that! Isaiah Ice! Only one of these men is going to be the junior weight champion. Bonkers! Just back in the ring. Jason James with elbows in the ribcage of the Lightning. Ladder goes flying again. One ladder between eight men. Who, who didn't think to grab more ladders? Where for the production team that think that an eight man ladder match would need more ladders. As all these men are feeling the effects of this match, Isaiah Ice going through the ropes once again. Zack Star is the barricade this time. Isaiah Ice is going to form daily. I mean, going to storm into the barricade. Those two men are forming quite the collective rivalry now, those two. This is your forward brand, everybody. This is your junior weight championship match here at Rebellion. Here at the kickoff. Look, Max Star with a huge Death Valley driver into a double drop in the mid cage. For decades, Max Star is, is still, still just innovative.
alive as hell. The only two men in this ring are down. Well, everybody else is fighting on the outside of the ring. Marcus Matrix just realized his opportunity. Marcus Matrix just realized his opportunity. Marcus Matrix is climbing the ladder. Marcus Matrix, are you kidding me? He didn't even do the work. Marcus Matrix didn't even do the work. Marcus Matrix has the title on his hand. Marcus Matrix, Jason Jane is there now. Marcus Matrix has the title. Marcus Matrix has the title now. He's a two to one champion. Marcus Matrix, everybody. He's still your new junior weight champion. Are you kidding me, Marcus Matrix? Every man was down. He didn't even do the work himself. He seen the ladder was set up. Marcus Matrix, as you see that, that rolling death valley under the ladder by Bonkers, that was insane. That Bonkers is Bonkers. Here is your winner. Are you kidding me? Marcus Matrix, he can't believe it. Look at Marcus the look on Marcus Matrix's Man. face. He can't believe it. 